wedding ring cannot save a marriage. So in the redeemed Christian church of God, instead of saying, with this ring, I do wed you, we say, Greetings, my wonderful viewer. You can make use of the timestamp there to select any part of this video you want to watch specifically as I discuss different topics. First, let's look at the country, Ghana. President Nana Akufuado, how are you doing? How is your family? I hope you are doing good. Now, I've been looking at on social media right here, just like my country, Nigeria. Even though Ghana there is quite cool, I would say. Actually, some of you don't know that I had my first degree in Ghana. So I have a bit of a connection with um, Ghana. So let, let me speak to the president. Um, you see, right now, your administration is going through a whole lot and people are really complaining about your government. The way things have turned out right now, it's as if many people are not pleased with you. Last time I was walking, watching Kweku uh, shout down there, or, you know, spitting bars with respect to your person. And I'm like, what is really going on? And then later I came across this video of a woman who was very pissed about the situation in Ghana. Let's play the video right now for a moment. Something. You cowards! 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 We cannot afford food! We cannot pay rent! Our rents are due! People are overpriced! You know right now in Ghana, if you do not have dollars, you cannot rent a good place to stay! A bag of rice is a thousand something fucking cities, animals! Water is expensive, we don't even have good water! Enough of the bullshit! If you motherfuckers cannot run the country, then step down! We are tired. We are getting tired of putting incompetent people there. We cannot afford the little things that keep us running. If we can't afford this, then where are we? What has Ghana become? You people are selling everything to people that don't even deserve it. This is not the Nkrumah Kwame Nkrumah. This is not the Ghana Nkrumah fought for. This is not the Nkrumah. This is not the Ghana that Nkrumah made me comfortable in. You incompetent leaders better start doing something about this. Because when we rise, when we rise, when we rise, you motherfuckers are gonna fucking kill us. When we start rising, we would rise like the fucking sun. I hope somebody can understand what I'm saying. When we start rising up, when we start rising up, you people would know that, listen, this is what put you people there. If this was not what put you people there, then you find your fucking ways there. But while we still have this, we would rise. <laughs> Madam, how are you? How hope you are doing fine. Have you been able to buy water and then, you know, get the things you need to feed yourself and your family? I know you are very angry. Do you have doom so doom so? Do you still have doom so doom so right now? Because uh, I know, because Nigeria, we are <laughs> we don't even need the doom. <laughs> we are already in doom because before we even get the so, it's not easy. So what I'm trying to make you understand now is that eh, it, for you to console yourself, just if you you can just try to compare Ghana small with Nigeria. Eh? and see that at least you people are maybe you know having things better even though i understand that based on the way things are right now it is very very appalling you understand but of course you are doing well eh? so ghana president your people are crying out last time you were booed at uh, what what music festival was that and that was not a good thing for you as a president but i don't even know why you carry yourself and go there when youth are there like that but all the same you are the people's president. Uh, NDC, I don't know what you guys are doing, but are you planning to come and take over again? Anyway, let's move on right now as we look at also right away in Ghana as well. <gasps> Marriage. Now, this part now is for only married people, please. If you are single like me, look here, nothing is here. Oh. This one might be a little bit not too good for you, so you can skip to the next part. But for those of you who are married, come closer, come closer. Do you know of this uh, pastor, Eastwood? How are you doing, sir? Ah, sir, sir, I, I came across a video on TikTok. Oh. Ha! That video, the things you were saying, very, very interesting. But you made sense, so this one is not criticism, even though some people might criticize you in the comments. But what you were saying about marriage, this one, it makes sense. So I said, let me play it to my people so that they will hear what you said. Eh? And then I'll come back with uh, some comments. Oh, yeah, my people, listen to what he said here. That is why people that are, people that have good marriages, 
apart from sleeping with each other, they kiss. A marriage without kissing is dying because the kissing has to do with breathing. When was the last time you kissed your wife? Sadie with the ewu here. Look, direct who? Direct. Eh? Rebecca, lie down. That is all. Two minutes. He's finished. Seven minutes. Where we? No foreplay. Nothing. No kissing. Nothing. No cuddling. Nothing. Am I am I talking to some adults here? Boring marriages. No, no, no. Kissing, breathing. There are many of you, you don't even know the scent of your wife. If they remove the hand of your wife and give it to you and say, smell it and tell whether this is your wife, you can't tell. Isaac knew the smell of Esau. He says, see, the smell of my son. It's like the smell of the field which the Lord has blessed. A marriage that is full of kissing will not die. No, and when you see the kissing is leaving the marriage and the hugging is leaving and the wanting to hold the woman or the man is leaving, you should get worried. No, you get worried because that is what marriage is all about. That, that is the difference between that woman and other women. That is the difference between that man and other men. That's the difference. Hey, hey God. Marriage without kissing. <laughs> Oga, sir. You see what, this is what pastor is saying. And what he's saying might be true because I know that, you know, when you have been together for a long time like that over time maybe things start to you know you know the the attraction is not there like that anymore that's why some people get into playing away game and all that so i think it's very experienced that according to what pastor said not just ah madam lie down oga lie down that people that saw oga lie down in case you don't know so instead of that let there be some you know extended form of uh, you know what he was saying you know Four play, five play, six play, even seven play. If you even carry and go ten play, all the play, sharp play, you understand? Just imagine football or imagine basketball, any kind of game. Do you just carry what makes game interesting? The dribbling there makes it interesting. When C. Ronaldo takes the ball and he dribbles and then dribbles and then goes to score a goal, the dribbling there is very interesting. Dribble yourself, that is a play. I don't have to explain things like that in explicit for you. So just imagine playing soccer. What makes it interesting is what happens at the center. But of course, shooting the right shot is also what brings even more excitement. So before you get to the center of gravity, where everything that goes up must have to come down, you have to make sure that you, you know you play the game well. So Pastor, um, thank you uh, very much. Hmm? You, have, you have done well. This one is the marriage segment. <laughs> but let's move on right now because... Put that woman here, uh, madam. I saw your video. I have never, I have never thought in my life that uh, a woman can speak like this, like this woman has spoken. Because all this world, you know, when you come on social media, it's always men cheating, men cheating, and all that kind of thing. But what this woman said here is quite interesting. Oh. So I'm going to play it for you to listen, women, listen, because this one, especially married women, very important. Listen to what she had to say. I will come back with a couple of comments. Married women, Sukwani K, rest, take a chill pill. Jeez, the level of promiscuity amongst the married women is alarming. Oh, there is problem. Listen, married men, because begin to run DNA tests on your children so that you'll be sure. The level these women are opening their legs, jumping around, hoying around more than the single girls is alarming. A married woman will come out with her whole chest. And be bragging, dragging boyfriend with single girls, jumping around from one man to the other. Oh, if you know you don't want to be married, stay single and open your legs. Why are you hoying around as a married woman? You are jumping from one street, from one hotel bed to the other. Rest. Married women, give yourself some respect. Don't you have shame? 
You are training your girl child. Very soon they will grow into what you've trained them to become. Married women, stop being promiscuous. Close your legs for a while. Hey, hey. did you listen to what ma madam? I think I should clap for you in this one because it's as if like the way we look at social media is always men, men, men. Please, can we clap for her? Because I know some women will not clap. Mm -hmm. but, but you see what you said, it is true because it is true. That reminds me of this video that was trending recently. Now, according to reports, it's as if this guy said that this guy that bought this girl Range Rover, of which he went to club, and on going there, he saw the girl with another man. Then he started destroying the Range Rover he bought the girl. I'm like, yay. But apparently, according to the comments I was reading, maybe I might be wrong anyway, that he himself is married. But, you know, that feeling of uh, possessing this woman with the Range Rover, she's not supposed to be playing away game. Range Rover is not being so. But if you can tell me what you think in the comment, because when it comes to this subject of a relationship, it's always a very interesting topic to, to, to look at and it's very important in every life. Me now that is single, very soon now you see me wearing ring here. You will not even know that I am married and I have children. You have, would you know? Would I tell you? Somebody said the wedding ring is an endless circle and we use it because it shows that endless circle is a symbol of a life and a journey that is unending and the gold is a signet or a symbol of a metal that if it goes through fire it will come up purer why your marriage break you use 22 karat gold you go you marry just see only smoke not be fire only smoke nine the marriage just see the marriage broke the wedding ring could not save the marriage the wedding ring they find out now the ring don't lost the wedding ring now another man ring nine the woman finger wedding ring cannot save a marriage so in the redeemed christian church of god instead of saying with this ring i do wed you we say with the word of god the bible it is more sure it is more lasting it is beyond here and it is something that brings the divine to enter in it's not we are not saying that's why after we do the marriage in the office we still bless the ring and you put the ring in the finger of your woman what we are telling you is that in this kingdom it is not that some people marry scatter because the man know they wear the ring i can't marry a man that, can, that cannot flaunt me that won't wear the ring sister you have a problem <laughs> Yeah, sure. 